so glad that Governor Stitt gave us this opportunity to be able to go home to our families. History made in our state. Hundreds of inmates walking out of prison into new beginnings. They're welcoming a second chance given to them by the Oklahoma voters and lawmakers. More than 400 inmates are home with their families tonight, part of the largest single day commutation of prisoners in U.S. history. Well, Two Works Views' Christine Maria is live in Taft tonight with more on those set free and why it's happening. Chris? Karen and Mike, women who served anywhere from months to years in prison, they couldn't wait to be back with their families. And this, it's just the beginning. It makes you tear up, giving hope and giving people second chances. It's unbelievable. The day began as all business, but the moment these women were on the other side of the fence, Keisha! the celebration began. <laughs> 70 women free after receiving commuted sentences thanks to Governor Stitt and the Oklahoma Pardon and Parole Board. Among them, Lane Lemus, whose daughter was waiting as she walked out of prison and into her arms. You know, I've been out of her life for three years, and, <laughs> but she's my hope. She's never given up on me. So it's a great opportunity for a lot of women out there. And all I have to say is thank you. <laughs> We really, really want to make your release successful. Um, really, just there's nothing less that, that's acceptable to me. All these women were serving time for low-level drug and nonviolent offenses. Voters and lawmakers voting to classify their crimes as misdemeanors, sending them all home. We really want you to have a successful future. And that's what I want to leave you with, is this is the first day of the rest of your life. <laughs> Governor Stitt talked about the importance of second chances and rehabilitation. I'm free, thank you, Yahweh. Both things these happy women will receive from the comfort of home. Now this is just the first step. In the next two months, Governor Stitt wants to free as many as 2,000 prisoners from across the state. All right, Chris, I do have a question. Describe for us what it was like when those doors opened and the women reunited with their families after years in some cases. Mike, it was as emotional reunion as you'll see. So the women were freed. They went right to Governor Stitt to shake his hand and they bolted for their families. Now some were laughing, some were crying and hugging, but everyone was smiling from ear to ear. All right, there you go, Christy Maria, live for us tonight in Taft. Chris, thank you.